earlier this year, we asked you to nominate the remarkable woman in your life for some special recognition. We received dozens of incredible nominations from all over Kelloland, and we selected four finalists to share more of their stories. They are women, including our next guest, Julie Becker, who doesn't expect recognition for the work they do, nor are they driven by a need for appreciation. As the director of the St. Francis House, Julie has overseen an expansion, fundraising campaign, and move into a new facility that allows the organization to serve even more people, moving from homelessness to hope. If that isn't remarkable, I don't know what is. Kelloland News, Bridget Bennett has her story. Let's watch. Most of the guys are at work. Oh. I'm here. You're here. I am. You got your ID? I do. Did you smile? This is the busiest season of Julie Becker's career. Oh, nice. She's moving into a brand new building, serving even more people as the director of the St. Francis House. You might actually like that, Barry. But she still yeah. greets all of her guests by name. And that's kind of what my job is, is to um, show them that they truly have abilities and that they are good people. They've bad, maybe made some bad decisions or life circumstances had have led them down the wrong path. And so I'm here to help them know that they're valued and they're appreciated. And that's why we call uh, the people we serve at St. Francis House guests, because yep. they're a guest in our home. You're happy. Yes, I'm very happy. John will be moving into one of our family units, yeah. aren't you? Every day, Julie helps people looking for a new path in life. About 97% of our guests right now have some form of addiction. And that it's not an easy path. It's not an easy job. I already made one bad decision. Right. <laughs> so now you got to turn it around and yes. now you got to make two good decisions. Yep. Right? Yep. Right. Cool. But with a little love, yes. I'm here making sure that they know they have a warm, safe, and sober home to live in where they get fed well and they probably get some tough love and compassion that they haven't had for a long time. And some hard work. This is not a handout by any means. This is completely a handout. They have to work for this. I'm not going to just give them a job. They need to work to get that job. And I believe that we walk alongside the people we serve. Julie knows transformation is possible. My heart and what they did for me, that brought me back. That's plain and simple. <laughs> what they gave me a life and soul, very grateful. Dan now works for the St. Francis House after going through the program himself. And now today, Dan has been sober for over four years. <laughs> a life forever changed. Oh, Ben got his. Oh, he didn't smile. I told him he needed a smile. From this remarkable woman who continues to care. Giving back. She's taught me a lot about that so far. Kaylee Anderson has worked for Julie at the St. Francis House for three years. She's just always giving a helping hand to not only me, guests, but other staff and other people in the community. She nominated her for this special award. I think she's an excellent example for selflessness. Not only is she known for the St. Francis House, but I personally know that she gives through United Way, um, she aids people with disabilities and finding jobs. She says she'll continue to serve. If we reduce the rent so that you guys can get ahead and get some other debt paid off and then you guys get a nice little nest egg safe. By cheering on every step in the right direction. Even the littlest success, it could be someone being sober for 10 days and that's the longest that they've ever been sober in their life, that's a success. Really a remarkable story. One of the things I, I heard, and I've heard you say it before, is how important it is to you to value other people and to let them know that they're valued, right. but you yourself don't actually care for or, or look for that no. recognition, but how does it feel now to have it anyway? You know, I didn't go into nonprofit or doing this job for um, accolades and awards. I didn't do that. Um, I chose to be in this field. My parents raised me that it's always better to give than to receive. And that has always been my focal point. I've always given more. My time, my resources, my encouragement. Sometimes it's tough love, you know, and some people don't like that. Um, but yeah, but I can tell you um, after the story aired yesterday, um, I, it's really hard to explain because I've been kind of very emotional, a lot of tears. Here I am choking up. Um, just, it's, it's just nice. And I think that's the maybe a part in our world that's maybe missing right now is we need more kindness. Kindness is free. 
and um, and I really got it yesterday because all of the uh, emails and texts and postings on social media have been um, not uh, overlooked. It's been very, very appreciated, um, and it's a blessing. And, and you are always out there doing that for others. You are every day, day after day, giving that right. value and recognition and kindness to, right. to everyone in our community. So I'm glad that you're feeling it back because you really do deserve well, thank it. You. I, I read all your nominations, and nominations is oh. the key word because more than one person feels this way about you. And a theme was consistently how hard you work every single day to make the community better, a new building, every day, any, anything. How do you stay motivated to work that hard all the time? Um, I guess I see um, forward, and I've always focused going forward. I uh, know that there's wonderful things that are out there for our community, uh, for the people that we serve, our, our guests. That's why we call them guests. Um, yeah, they've made bad decisions, but they're good people. And the littlest things just continue to fill my tank. You know, today is one of our guests' birthday. And seeing him when he walked in and we all said happy birthday and seeing the expression on his face that first of all, he was remembered on his birthday and then he got a card and a treat, um, just filled the tank right back up again. And, um, and I love the Sioux Falls community. That's why I have volunteered for Sioux Falls Youth Hockey and uh, Fast Pitch Softball and MB with the volleyball teams and with um, the PTA with the schools. I mean, I am an avid believer in making this world a better place. And if I can do just a little bit of that and, and help one person, then I know that our world is going to be a better place. I love how you find the little wins and the little successes and have and that drives you forward but i i know you and and i'm guessing that you are looking forward and thinking about what even this recognition can continue to bring to the saint francis house and the community what are you what are you hoping for now well i think it's really great that we are also looking at recognizing women we have some amazing women in this community and i think of some of the people when I first started in this field, and I'm not gonna say how many years ago, cause it's been a long time, but I think of some of them and how they have been my champion and how they have encouraged me. Now it's my time to do that. And so when I knew that a couple of my, st of the nominations came from my staff that were female staff, I just knew that, you know what? I'm doing justice to what those women did for me. I'm now doing that and carrying on that torch so that we are celebrating women. Nothing against men, because there's some awesome men in this community too. But I think that's what um, my drive is, is to continue being a leader to other women, not only in this field, but in this community. Well, thank you so much. Remarkable story. Thank I you. loved hearing it. I'm so thankful for you being here today too. Thank, thank you. you for having me. I'm grateful. Julie is one of four women who have been selected as finalists for NextStar's Remarkable Woman 2020 Awards. Remarkable Women is part of a nationwide NextStar media initiative to honor the influence that women have had on public policy, social progress, and quality of life. We will be profiling each one of the four Kelloland finalists who are in the running to win a trip to New York City and appear on the Mel Robbins Show, where the national NextStar Women of the Year Award will be announced. Good luck, Julie. You can watch our Remarkable Women nominees every week on Kelloland Living. We'll announce the local winner later on this month. You can also catch all four nominees in our Remarkable Women special, which airs Thursday, March 3rd at 6.30 p.m. right here on your Kelloland stations.